You might have heard of 3D printers. Well, researchers at Wake Forest University have unveiled a 3D printer of their own. It prints living body parts. I visited that research lab to find out which body parts they've printed to life and how they say it, it, they say it could help wounded veterans. This is a 3D printer, more than 10 years in the making. You have three things moving at the same time, allowing the three-dimensional component of the tissue to be formed. Dr. Anthony Atala is the director of the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine. He says this machine can print living tissues, including muscle, bone, and cartilage. This is actually uh, a screen showing you what's actually happening at the printing level. So you can see the actual printing process going on on the scaffold itself, and this is actually a piece of a uh, jawbone. Instead of using ink, the printer spits out a special gel mixture consisting of cells and nutrients. The printed dots slowly dry to harden. So you need very small nozzles down to 1 80th the diameter of a hair. One advancement with these printed structures are tiny channels that let oxygen so reach the inner cells. In a way, creating a highway, if you will, allowing the nutrition to get to the tissue itself. So far, the tissues from this printer have only been tested in animals. Researchers found they became vascularized, meaning blood vessels successfully formed. Part of our goal is to get these technologies to our wounded warriors. Atala says this printing research is a step towards creating custom tissues to replace damaged body parts. One of the major things that is frustrating is really to be able to be in an operating room and have to put a piece of plastic or metal when really you know that the best solution is to use the patient's own tissue. One day, Atala says, using the patient's own cells to print full-size organs. The Armed Forces Institute of Regenerative Medicine funded part of the research. The team plans to implant the printed tissues in patients in the near future.